hey, what's going around? Besides COVID. But anyway, today I'm going to be going over my top five intermediate cuts. So they're not going to be uh, beginner cuts like Charlie A or Revolution. They're going to be a little bit more difficult, but not too difficult where it's advanced. So um, let's get on into it. Also, the cards I'm using today are the Play Dead Playing Cards by Riffle Shuffle. They are probably my favorite cards right now. Um, so let's get into number five. All right, so number five, I don't know what the actual name for it is, so I'm just gonna call it the Drop Zone Cut because it's in Dan and Dave's uh, flourish called Drop Zone, which is kind of like an aerial sybil. So it kind of looks like this. And then you do that little cut. Then you can toss the cards into the air and just the cut, it looks like this. So it's also used in uh, Rise Magic's Flourish Olive, but that's just a nice, uh, easy, kind of easy aerial um, cut. And it helps with your dexterity because it's kind of in an uncomfortable position at first, but it's really fun once you get it down. And sometimes I just like to fidget with it. For number four, I have L cuts. And they are just really classic. And a lot, you see a lot of uh, like professional cardists do them. And so they kind of look like this if I can do them good. And if you have small hands and have trouble doing them, I do have like a video to help troubleshoot this is not the best L cuts because my hands are all the way up here. So yeah, that's for number four. For number three, I have a Geo Flip. And this is just a nice favorite that a lot of people have or do because it's just a nice kind of fidget move, move. And you can also use it in a combo with something like uh, Le Lego Love. Again, this is an awkward position. So, Judo Flip was number three. For number two, we have the one-handed shuffle. And this is just a show-off move, and it helps with your uh, hand muscle and dexterity and it also is a way to fail the cards and it's just a good move that every cardist should learn. For numero uno it would have to be the Urnay's go around. It's just a classic aerial one-handed cut. You can do it behind the back too if you're good enough and it just really helps. It's just a fun move to do. And yeah, it's just really cool. And that's number one. All right, so that's my top five. I tried to keep this video a little short because a lot of my past videos have been kind of long and this is just a top five, so it's nothing too special. So um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.